Hymn to the Spirit of Nature, P.B. Shelley. Notes from the back of the book. This impassioned address expresses Shelley's most rapt imaginations and is the direct modern representative of the feeling which led the Greeks to the worship of nature. to the spirit of nature. Life of life, thy lips enkindle with their love the breath between them, and thy smiles before they dwindle make the cold air fire, then screen them in those looks where whoso gazes faints and tangles in their mazes. Child of light, thy limbs are burning through the vest which seems to hide them, as the radiant lines of morning through the clouds ere they divide them. And this atmosphere divinest shrouds thee wheresoe'er thou shinest. Fair are others, none beholds thee, but thy voice sounds low and tender, like the fairest, for it folds thee from the sight that liquid splendor. And all feel, yet see thee never, as I feel now lost forever. Lamp of earth, where'er thou movest, its dim shapes are clad with brightness. And the souls of whom thou lovest walk upon the winds with lightness, till they fail as I am failing, dizzy, lost, yet unbewailing.